So if we have words with more than one syllable that end in E-L, we divide two letters from the end. So all these words, I divided two letters from the end. And right here and here and here and here and here, we have vowels in the middle of the syllable. So we will use the short sound. Here we have a vowel at the beginning of the syllable. So we will also use the short sound. So we get camel, level, vowel, intel, panel, and revel. Go ahead and try that rule on these five words. Okay, so for the first two and the last two words, our first syllable has a vowel in the middle, so we will use the short sound. This one, our syllable ends in a vowel, so we will try the long sound first. So we have model, jewel, cruel, chapel, and vessel. Now right here you have a double S, so you could also split it right here, but that would not change the pronunciation. All right, we're going to practice some words using all eight rules we have learned. So go ahead and start with these words. You will find it especially helpful, I think, to start with dividing after the prefixes and before the suffixes and then applying the other rules after that. All right, right here we have the prefix D, the suffix ent, dependent. Right here we have one prefix and two suffixes. So if we can recognize this, this, and this, we already have most of the word figured out. Unwillingness. Right here we have the prefix miss, the suffix meant, which only leaves us right here to figure out. Oh, age is also a suffix. So we can split there. And the word man is easy, so mismanagement. Right here we have the prefix in, the suffix chur. Um, I know it looks like chur, but that is really hard to say. And so uh, when people are speaking, at least in American English, the, the T-U send, the T tends to take on more of a ch sound, like in the word picture. All right, so, um, and then we're going to divide after a vowel before a blend. So we could try this as in phrase structure using the long A sound, but I don't recognize that word. However, if I try infrastructure, I recognize that word. Now, you might wonder what happened to the long A sound of A? Well, for words with many syllables, not all the syllables are pronounced with the same amount of stress or volume or emphasis. In this word, the in part becomes more important. And as a result, when we pronounce it, the sounds that would otherwise be a long vowel sound, if it's in an, in an unstressed, unemphasized syllable, tend to get muffled and that's called uh, schwaing, where they tend to take on either a short U sound of a, uh, or sometimes a short I sound of I. So that's what happens in this word, infrastructure. This syllable we say with a little less emphasis, a little quieter, because this is the one we're emphasizing. And as a result, the long A sound disappears. Okay, we're going to split this word between two consonants. And right here, we've got three vowels, but O and U stay together. So we split right here and get virtuous. Here's another example where the T-U winds up sounding more like ch, just because it's hard to say. All right, go ahead and try it on these words. Again, I recommend start with uh, circling or dividing or underlining, however you're doing this. Start with the prefixes and suffixes and then use the other rules. All right, so I recognize the prefix in, so I'm going to divide here. I recognize the suffix us, so I'm going to divide here. I, we have S, T, R. S and T are a blend, but T and R are also a blend. 
So we could divide it here or here. Either way, it's not going to change the pronunciation. This I is going to take on a long E sound because it's before the letter O. This U will have the short U sound in the middle of syllable. Industrious. Right here, the prefix un, the suffix ing, suffix ness, unwillingness. Right here, we have the suffix shus, remembering the C-I is one of the Latin spellings of the sh sound. After a vowel before a single consonant, so we have ju dishes. You'll notice in this word, the I takes on the short I sound rather than the long I sound. But let's say you didn't know that and you read it as judicious. Well, this is why having a good vocabulary is very helpful because if you have listened to audiobooks or podcasts or anything uh, that was first written and then read aloud, you will have a bigger vocabulary than just listening to everyday speaking and then you might recognize the word. All right, for this one, we're going to uh, split before the suffix chur, after the prefix in, after a vowel, before a blend, infrastructure. And this is another word where the in part is accented. This is not accented, so the A becomes the muffled schwa sound of uh. Right here, we have the prefix con. We have the suffix shul, remembering that the SI is a Latin spelling for the sh sound. And we divide after a consonant before a single, or I'm sorry, after a vowel before a single consonant. Controversial. I hope you found this helpful. Here are some other resources that you might find useful. The phonicspage.org ha has a lot of information. Actually, it's a little overwhelming. And they have YouTube videos. The book, Uncovering the Logic of English, goes into detail about these things I've talked about today. And the author also has a lot of information about spelling. And if you have a beginner reader, uh, a great place to start is Phonics Pathways. That's what I used with my kids when they were little. It only goes up through maybe a second grade reading level, however. So once, once your child can read, say, Dr. Seuss or Frog and Toad books, then it might be time to start working on the syllable division more. If you have any questions, feel free to post them. Um, at some point, I will also uh, be making some worksheets to go with this, and I will post links in the video description.